It's a new dawn, it's a new day, and it is, it is Tuesday. It's supposed to be a lot of rain coming in from about 10 o'clock. Carry on with uh, using mortar uh, just for a minute, and then uh, sort of so try and save all the big stone really for the for the dry stone bit. Nice solid base and then dry stone on top of it. I think that's the plan anyway. So it's another day, and I crack on. Try and beast mode out a load before this rain comes, but good thing about it, if it is too bad, we can just carry on dry stoning. That's the good thing about this wall. It's going to be a bit of a hybrid. Um, so, yeah. Nice. Right, crack on. No chance of getting the mix any closer, no? Ah? Uh? Is there not a chance of getting the mix any closer? No, because obviously once we're going the other side, you have to mix it on the side. Oh, oh, right, right, right. I don't know, yes, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 How oh, you been anyway? You good? Yeah, mate, no. All right. Sorry, I'm getting mate. in the way of your broadcast. Don't mind your face on it. More my art, you'll see. My art, your face. Oh, art as you go as well. So we're not too worried about like the gaps sort of underneath the stone, just make sure they butt up as tight as possible, like no cheese holes and that. Right. Because you look at like the sort of standard of the wall, like if you look at his wall there, you got you got the sort of just so it ties in nicely. Do you know what I mean? Obviously we'll make it tight as possible. But you'll find the stone is quite bobbly, so sort of the gaps here. Obviously, if there's a bit of a gap, don't worry, do you know what I mean? But it's about button them up that way, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean, mate? you know what I mean? Well, I think because he looked at it initially, like, they, you know, they sort of agreed that it was going to be dry stone, but yeah. sort of when we, when we took it apart and that evaluated it, it's quite... Yeah, he said it wasn't quite as good as he thought. No. Well, the face was, like the face of the stone was, but as soon as you took the stone out, yeah. it just split. Right. So you end up with like, you know, stone, which is obviously put in sort of like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's only half, yeah, so these, yeah. it's like that really, don't you? Working my magic, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> You've been trying to convince him, have you? Well, no, I'm just saying it's obviously wasted, isn't it? Look at Any 
anymore. Well, yeah, it's the sort of decision you've got to make, innit? Right, we're only using a. Blah, 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 blah. We're only going to use mortar. Mortar? Just to use up these small bits, like, you know. There's so many small slivers. It's like him, he would have been a big one, but he's cracked. So you're telling me to put this stone down? No, he's alright. Alright, okay. <laughs> Just obviously, remember, obviously, like, you know, <laughs> above the bank, basically, it's going to be dry stone. So you want to keep bigger. Basically. Check in the lines. So we're building up obviously on the bank now, so we're just putting a load of rough stone in. So obviously on that side now, that, that course will be on show. So we're just sort of getting the lines either side to uh, move. What's up? Huh? Come out now. Yeah. Go out. He needs, he needs to go out. Yeah, it looks pretty good from here. You have got a bit of a bulge on that wall there, isn't it? So let's check it again. Looking alright, isn't it? It's not a bad lift either, is it? Measure. Measure. So yeah. So we've got two points, so another good little thing is just measure the lines. Because you've got two different walls coming in. 
Huh? This, this one's right here. Because you've got a different thickness of that wall, it's obviously that wall there, so it's just getting a nice average, really. But obviously, building our section the exact 430. So, you've got 430 down this side. So, let's see if we've got it right. What's that one? Oh. 425 so that's not bad off the eye so we measured that so 430 is obviously the base so we're just uh, moving the pins down there to 430 as well so that means at least our chunk is uh, the exact that's the only thing you've got when you do repairs on walls you've obviously you know because that one's been fixed up before it's quite hard to sort of get you know they're obviously built in different whips if you know what I mean so and obviously that that one might have moved over time because that's the old wall as you can sort of see there look it's leaning so obviously that will affect the width of the wall going all the way down what's that mate this is our edge model. yeah that's it now that's where we're at we're up to the bank so uh yeah jump on the other side and obviously start building normally ah oh. now we're doing all right bang on, on. Four thirty all the way along Hey! I don't get like, I don't know what I do, I was like, come on mate, you worked out today, 
And then I search for the stone and all of my Another day done. So we're about about a third, because obviously you've got to bear in mind without the coping stones. About a third of the way up. I'd like say we carried on with a mortar today. Just a sort of mix really, it's just like a sort of half and half wall. Because the thing about it obviously, because we're connecting the two walls like and the way the roots are on the bank and stuff that just with that bit of mortar it does help it as long as obviously you know drainage and that's considered but what what the uh what the customer wants is a straight wall so with a lot of small stone it's quite hard doing that dry stone a third of the way obviously just peeking above peeking above the other side as well now we'll be good tomorrow because we've got two extra lads of us so be a good help really so we'll probably get another third about there all the way along sort of really coming to the height of that wall will be tomorrow so then you know you're looking at what's it tomorrow wednesday and thursday got another day yeah the only thing is that i'm off friday i'm not here i'm having a cheeky little holiday so i might actually miss the end of the job but it'll only probably be the coping stones so we'll see how we go lovely Rain's coming in good now. It is coming. Oh, move that rat. Coming in really good. It is absolutely amazing how, like, working under them trees, the conifers there, 
literally, you just you can see the dry patch. It's just there, you know what I mean? From that bit, it's just up. The placement of this job is absolutely amazing, really. Like I say, you don't even realise how wet it is everywhere else. Managed to escape, oh, let's see about them. Managed to escape the weather, which is always a plus, especially with that little bit of mortar. Obviously, dry stone don't matter, it just means you get wet, doesn't it? But I think that's the thing, really. I think we were like, sort of, we knew we was going to have a bad, you know, bad week with the weather, so we sort of, you know, had it in our heads and that, oh, we're going to dry stone it and that, but. I suppose it's good being versatile because at the end of the day, you know, it's, a, it's good doing it, it's sort of mixing both really. So, all right, cup of tea is getting poured. The old lemon tea, lemon green tea. Oh, I do, do like the old lemon tea, you know what I mean? It's one of them really. Lemon green tea is pretty good for the summer as well, actually, because it just sort of makes you refreshed. And if you leave it out, it goes cold and it actually tastes quite nice cold it tastes actually a little bit better oh spilt that literally everywhere but uh, yeah the tea is poured the van is warm let's make my little pilgrimage home oh that's good that look added a little bit of grass there let's see that it's good good for the health good for the health mm. Right, let's do that thing that we all love doing at the end of the day. Skedaddle. Bye-bye. Boom. Snap.